sound around us is the soundscape. And more and more that soundscape is being filled with unwanted sounds that we call noise. And noise is, for the most part, generated by anthropomorphic sources. There's 7.85 billion people on this planet, and we are more and more building infrastructures. And as a result, we're creating you know, more noise into the environment. There's a lot of noise sources in the urban environment, uh, barking dogs, and, uh, power equipment. It's becoming more and more a noisy background. Perhaps the most prevalent anthropomorphic noise are our roads, uh, especially our highways, places where there's a lot of traffic. These noises can put stress on species of wildlife that can ultimately over time affect their natural history. Some wildlife just cannot be around noise, so they completely leave the area. Uh, many species of wildlife will change their behavior as a result of the noise. They may quit singing if they're singing, they may quit foraging if they're hunting. One of the issues with uh, marine mammals as well as with songbirds is what's called masking. And masking is where the anthropomorphic noise is at the same frequencies as the calling of, uh, you know, the vocalization of uh, either a marine mammal or a songbird. Who they're communicating to may not be able to hear it effectively because it's been anthropomorphic noise. It's masked it over. Some species of wildlife, you know, tolerate you know, anthropomorphic noises, and maybe they operate at other frequencies of sound that they don't hear a lot of the anthropomorphic noise. Wildlife corridor provides access for wildlife to move across the landscape from point A to point B. I mean, that's the primary purpose of that, but it also creates a green belt that allows within the urban environment uh, a number of species to, to live. The animal can safely move, you know, through a particular place without getting uh, run over, you know, across roadways. One of the biggest challenges moving forward for wildlife is getting around human barriers, and especially as we move into uh, climate change, where these animals are going to have to move as their vegetation and their habitats move.